I'm about to show you some advanced automation tactics that you can use using a platform called Solozo to skyrocket your sales within Amazon PPC. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to jump right into it here, guys. But First, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can make sure you can see more videos like this. We're going to be going over in some advanced Amazon PPC automation tactics. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Within automation using Solozo, we're able to set minimum and maximum bids for specific campaigns. So if we know there's a specific minimum range that you know you just won't get any clicks if the bids go too low, if there's a maximum range where you just know you don't wanna to try to bid anymore because it may be unprofitable to bid too high for the majority of your keywords, you can set those up in your PPC manager. Let's just jump right into one of the campaigns here and I'll give you an example of that. So first of all, we'll just take this first campaign here. So we could go just click on this toggle wheel and you could do this for multiple campaigns at the same time if you wanted to. So we just go to edit campaign and you could set the minimum and maximum bid for those. Okay, and as you can see here, we have a pretty conservative maximum bid set. I'm going to show you here something that's a really interesting thing you can do within Solozo that we've used with our clients that have allowed us to be a lot more competitive with our bidding and get a lot more sales. So definitely pay attention here. So we'll just cancel that for the moment. And so I'll show you how to edit multiple at the same time. It's the same thing per campaign or if you're doing it up just optimizing a specific keyword. It's the same way. Looking at the targeting. So first we're gonna go into this campaign and just look at the targeting because this is the key here. This is the thing that can really help you get a lot more sales if you do this correctly. And not only get a lot more sales, but also allow you to keep your A costs at a decent level. So you're gonna be doing this for keywords that are already performing well, for example. Okay, so we're gonna go up here to targeting. You're gonna pick targeting here so you can see the keywords within the campaigns. And it's just called targeting on this tab here if you're not familiar yet with Solozo because you could be working with a product targeting campaign. So they just call it targeting. So whether it be keywords or ASINs, either one, it's in your targeting tab. So here we can see our list of keywords and what we're gonna do here. So we scroll over here and we see you know some that have really good ACOS and maybe we wanna allow those to give those a little more room to perform even better. So what we can do is actually override, remember we had that minimum bid set at the maximum bid set at just $3 for the campaign. Say we see a few that are really good, say our ACOS, our target ACOS is 50%, anything below that, you know, we're okay with like being a little more loose with our constraints. So go in here, we could select this one, you can do multiple at a time. And when you select multiple, pick that, and then you'll just go to edit targeting. You know, your commands will be up here at the top. Okay, rather than just clicking on that toggle wheel, it'll change to being at the top here. Click on that. And as we can see here, now we can adjust the minimum maximum bid on a per keyword level. Okay, and this is just an example here currently you know, it could be that your target ACOS is 30%. So maybe you want to, you know, only go after keywords or do this for keywords that have a much lower ACOS. It all depends on your margins and what your objective is with your PPC campaign at this time. But as you can see here, we already have some here set to basically override the current campaign level setting. So when you set a higher max bid, for example, and a higher minimum bid for a keyword in the targeting section, this is going to override the campaign level. This is a really important thing to note here. So if you see keywords that are doing well and you want to allow them more room to breathe, more room to spend more to just to test, I mean, you may not want to change it the bid to $15 maximum, but maybe you inch it up slowly to allow Slozo's automation to test, you know, being a little more competitive with that specific keyword. And what we found with our testing, it does, it is effective because it's allowing you to compete with other competitors in your niche on a higher level. And you may be thinking that, well, $8, $10, why would I ever want to bid that much? But that's the thing, depending on your category, depending on your niche, how competitive it is, it's not very uncommon to see 
$10 clicks, for example. If you're in the supplement niche or health and beauty, for example, very easy to be bidding that high. That's the thing where you want to be careful and that's where we can dial this in using automation. We can test this out and be effective with those higher bids in real time and you don't have to constantly check on them. That's the benefit of automation with this optimizer and the target A cost that you have set for your campaign, it can take all those, factor all those things in and not just allow your campaign to just bid super high for no reason, okay? It's gonna control the bid based on your target A cost. So as Solozo sees that, okay, now that you're bidding higher and it's not converting well and it knows that your target A cost is 50%, for example, it's not gonna keep pushing the bid up, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. So that's one of the main benefits. And one last thing I wanna show you here is this lock bid feature. Okay, so once you know you finally have your bids dialed in for specific keywords, you can just turn this on and it will lock that bid at whatever bid you set. Okay, you just know that's the bid for this keyword. You want to keep it there. Boom, you just turn that on and you're good to go. And also, if you have a set of keywords, whether it be you want to lock the same bid or you want to lock the minimum bid or you want to set the maximum bid at all the same for this set of keywords, say if you want to open it up for all of them at the same time, you could set it $8, for example, for this one, and then you could hit push and it will automatically update those. So say for example, 20 or 30 keywords at the same time, you don't want to have to go through and you know spend time clicking and changing each one one at a time. You can just hit push and it will update them all at the same time. Then you just hit apply changes and you're good to go. So, all right, guys, hope you got some good value out of this video. If you're using automation, definitely give me a like if you did get some value out of this. Again, make sure you subscribe. We'll be doing more videos like this on these more kind of advanced automation tactics within Amazon PPC. Yep. All right. Until next time, this is Nick with Sellers Arena, and I will see you in the next one.